here from Upload and we're currently here at Balance and Sweets Cafe with our beloved beauty queen, Miss Miriam Kimbao. So, hi po! Hi Princess! <laughs> and hello to all the viewers of Upload. And so, hi Miss Miriam. Um, how's it going so far? Okay naman! I, uh, I, if you read the news, I recently got married last March 25, 2014. Hey, and then, thank you! And then I went honeymooning in Phuket, Spain, and mm -hmm. France. And now that we're here in Balisid, we're also here on a honeymoon and also to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Yay! It's Thank Ms. you. Miriam Kumbao, so <laughs> birthday today. So um, can you please tell us more about your 100 Happy Days? Well, 100 Happy Days, I know, is a campaign that started in the U.S. So a friend of mine in, on Facebook tagged me on one of her posts, and I got curious about this new hashtag, 100 Happy Days. So when I like, went on to the log on the web, I logged onto the website, I learned that the 100 Happy Days is a campaign for for those who want to join in to identify what it is that makes them happy mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. And they found out that only 71% can identify what makes them happy every day. Other people end up actually having such a boring life, they can't, don't even know what makes them happy. So this particular campaign actually helps you and share the things that make you happy to your friends on social media. So there are three platforms, or four or five platforms, you can use it, uh, you can post your the pictures of the things that make you happy, either on Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, I think, and then one other thing. You post yours. And I post mine on Instagram and just and repost them on Twitter and Facebook. So I ended up joining in. I started last January 29 or January 30. Mm -hmm. And for the next 100 happy, happy days thereafter, mm -hmm. I was posting pictures of things that make them happy. And and fortunately, it also within that 100 happy days, uh, I included the date of my wedding okay. and also certain days on my uh, my honeymoon. So yeah. I also got to post their memories of my trips. So um, wh where's your favorite um, trip so far? Like uh, your most favorite places that you've been? Actually, I'm one of those who love traveling and ever since I started working for TV also in, um, in back in Channel 7, there was a time when I was hosting Extra Extra and also yeah, Extra, extra. I also Extra Challenge, yes, and uh, Pinoy Meets World, so I really got to travel around the world. But I was doing that for work. I had a lot of fun and I know that you also have that experience, so yeah. you, know, you know how much fun it is. But for some reason, there's really a difference when you're doing it with the one you love. So, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now that I'm on the I really, really enjoyed my trip in Europe. So we went to Europe. Yeah, we went to Spain and France. In Spain, we based ourselves in Madrid. We stayed there for four days, and then took a day trip to Toledo, which is a very, very old Gothic city and proclaimed a UNESCO heritage site. So we went there. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I was like, who's coming to the <laughs> <laughs> five uh, days in Spain. Uh, we also went to France. Mm -hmm. And he has a cousin who lives in Grasse, France, which in the south which is in the south of mm -hmm. France. So we also she was the one who accommodated us at her house and then she drove us to the cities that were oh, in the wow. French Riviera. And that includes Nice, Monaco, Marseille, Monton. So we went to all those cities on the four days that we were at her house. So After that, we uh, we took a train to go to Paris. We spent the next nine days there. We based ourselves there. Our first apartment was close to the Eiffel Tower, and you can see even my in my Instagram posts that we, uh, we were there having a picture with the Eiffel Tower in the back, or working out, doing push-ups, uh, or picnicking by the Champ de Mars, which is a big. Uh, Lawn uh, where locals uh, set up themselves for a picnic with Eiffel Tower just behind them. And then um, we also took day trips going to Versailles and Champagne while we were in Paris. So it was a truly, truly memorable site. Uh, it was a truly, truly memorable trip for the both of us. So very sweet, <laughs> But you currently here in Balasin. So how how's Balasin so far for you guys? 
Um, it's great. Of course, it's my birthday and my honeymoon, and I got to meet you guys and yeah. we had fun. Uh, last night we, went, uh, we had a birthday a karaoke match for myself. <laughs> I, I left my birthday. birthday. <laughs> and we were singing and dancing the night away. It was a lot of fun. Don't worry, the videos are private. <laughs> Um, when I get, actually yeah. while I'm here, um, I'm taking some time to write for my book because I oh, fear yeah. that in the past decade I've gone through so much in my life. Um, my wow. life is an open book anyway. Everybody knows that I failed in my first marriage of two and a half years, and then after that um, I came back here to the Philippines mm -hmm. and uh, got back on show business. But because I've learned so much in the past decade, I feel like I wanted to share what I learned to Whoa. my followers, my admirers, yeah. uh, and those who want to follow my career. And so to know I decided more about to know more about me, yeah. but also to impart to them my experience and what I've learned. Mm -hmm. So I decided in 2007 that I'm going to write a book. It's still in process, but I hope to finish the last three chapters this week. Yay! I'm hoping, Watch out for that. Yeah, so I'm hoping yeah. to launch my book mm -hmm. in uh, September at the Manila September. International Book Fair. And my working yeah, and my working title is He Can Catch You When You Fall, the Miriam Kimbao story. So hope you can uh, watch out for it. Sovereign sweet <laughs> But I was that here. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was that here. He. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you asked yeah. because <laughs> most probably most people probably will think that it's my new husband. Yes, yeah. But he actually refers to God. Yeah. Because um, everybody knows that I am Christian uh, and I love God, and I really, I really found so much purpose in uh, in my life with him now. Um, before I met the Lord, um, I was really down and out in my life. Um, I was heartbroken from my failed relationship. My career was going down the drain. My life savings that were invested in real estate were scammed. Mm -hmm. um, I made a bad decision to post for Men's Magazine. And then my my emotions, my mental clarity, and, and most especially the direction of my spiritual life is really going nowhere. And it was then when somebody shared the gospel with me I prayed and I decided that I'm going to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. I wanted to go to know Him. And during that time when I finally made a decision to follow Him in my life, my life really took a turn. He changed my heart. He clarified my mind. He restored every aspect of my life, emotional, family life, um, intellectual, mental capacity, um, financial life. He restored my investments. And I told God, Lord, you've restored every aspect of my life. Could you also please help restore my failed marriage? But since my ex-husband already um, got remarried and now has a child, um, the Lord, I, I've been praying that the Lord will give me God's best. And finally this year, that has happened. Last year, I met my God's best. And this year, in March 25, we finally got married. And I'm, and I'm really so blessed because I can truly, truly say that he is the Lord's gift to me. <laughs> I want to kiss her too. She's so beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah. so his name is Ardy Roberto. He's also an author and an entrepreneur. Yeah, it comes after two kisses, no? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, that's the gist. Yeah. But if you really want to know more about what I've learned, what I've experienced, and how really the Lord uh, changed my life, um, I'd like to invite you to grab a copy of my book once it's out because I'm really, really sure that you learn, you'll learn, you be entertained and you'll be uh, learning a lot from it. Yeah, a, a lot could relate from your experiences. I mean, iba iba eh. like, merong experiences ng mga teens, like, at my age, diba? Like, a model, like, pagpupost sa, ano, like, choosing ko ano yung mga careers na dapat nila nakakain na nagiging real estate. So, I'm going there. <laughs> Okay, what is the question? What do you want to 
<coughs> oh. Good evening, everyone. We're currently here at the question and answer portion. How are you feeling right now? I'm so excited. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> that is the question. That is the question. What is the true essence of a woman? Naku, sabi na nga ba yun? Tatanungin mo sa akin eh. The true essence of a woman is beauty. Beauty not only externally, but also internally. Beauty in finding one's purpose in life. Beauty which is unveiled in every aspect of life. Beauty that makes a difference in the world she lives in. So that is the aspect. That, that is the essence of beauty. I'm your number one! It's so beautiful, right? How I wish everyone could answer like that. Everyone. Yay. Bye. <laughs>